Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. In this demonstration, we would analyze the wind flow over a truss bridge. There is a truss bridge, we need to find out the velocity variations across the bridge. The wind velocity is 15 km per hour. This is the part 1 of the tutorial, in this part we would see how you could create the geometry and do the meshing. Before we start the video it's a request please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications of the new uploads. We would start with the creation of the geometry in ANSI's design modeler. Right click on geometry and select new design modeler geometry. Keep the default unit as meter. Select the YZ plane to create the sketch. Go to Draw Toolbar, select the Line tool and draw the sketch for the channel. Put the dimensions, before that make sure that Auto Constraints has been applied for horizontal, vertical and parallel lines. If not applied, apply the constraints manually. Provide angular dimension. Put the values of the dimensions in the dimension box. The sketch is complete now, we need to convert this to a 3D geometry by help of extrude option. Select the sketch and click on Extrude. In the Geometry box click on Apply. Put the extrusion depth. Click on Generate. Insert a new sketch plane. Select the type as from point and normal. Select the vertex of the geometry as the point and one edge as the normal. Click on Generate. A new plane now created at the vertex point. Now we would mirror this geometry about this new plane. Select the mirror plane as the new plane. Select the body and click on apply. Then click on generate. Now, we need to translate the second body towards right to create a joint between two bodies. Select the direction and distance and click on generate. Now create a linear pattern of the profile. Select the geometry and click on apply. Click on the axis to select the direction. Enter the offset distance and number of copies. Select the is plane and insert a new sketch.
Take the vertex of the geometry as the reference and draw a rectangle. Provide the dimensions. Enter the dimension values in the details of the sketch. Extrude the sketch to create the geometry. Change the operation to add frozen. Enter the extrude depth and click on generate. Create a boolean operation to join all the bodies into a single part. Create another pattern of this single body. Select the geometry click on Apply. Select the direction by selecting the axis. Enter the offset distance and number of copies as 1. Select the ZX plane and draw a sketch of the rectangular base. Extrude the sketch. Select the sketch and click on Apply. Put the depth of extrusion and click on Generate. Select the face and click on sketching it. A new sketch plane will be created on the face. Now go to the draw toolbar and select the rectangle. Draw the rectangle on the new plane. Put the dimension.
click on Extrude. Enter the depth of extrusion. Select the extrude direction. Then click on Generate. Make it as a add frozen geometry. As we are going to pattern this profile along all the joints. Go to Insert menu then select Pattern. Select the part and click on Apply. Enter the offset distance, enter the number of copies and click on Generate. Now, we need to join all the sections into a single body. Go to Create menu select Boolean, select the operation as Unite. Then select all the bodies as the tool bodies. Then click on Apply. Click on Generate to complete the Boolean process. Now it has become only one body. Now we need to create the outer fluid domain over this bridge geometry. Go to Tools menu and select Enclosure. Enter the required size of the enclosure and then click on Generate. Again create a boolean substract to separate the bridge geometry from the fluid domain. Select the preserve tool bodies option as no. This will results in only fluid domain in the analysis. Close the geometry and proceed for meshing. Open the meshing window. Click on Mesh in the tree outline. A details of the mesh table can be seen in the outline. In the default setting, select the element size and put it as 0.1 meter.
Go to sizing and turn on the adaptive sizing. Right click on mesh and select generate mesh. If you are using a student version software, keep the element size more to keep the number of cells within the permissible limit. Check the quality of the meshed cells using the display style. Select the section plane option. Take a section of the geometry to see the meshed cell distribution inside the geometry. There are not much more highly skewed cells, and the aspect ratio is also acceptable. So we can continue with the current mesh setup. Provide name tags to the boundary surfaces. Right click on mesh and select update. It will link the meshed cells with the fluent solver. Now close the meshing and proceed for solver setup. Watch the part 2 of this tutorial for solver setup and CFD post processing. Please like this video if you find this helpful. Please subscribe to our channel if you are new to our channel. Thank you.